Hi and welcome to Old Time Knowledge. Well in this video I'm going to be making lacy cornbread. You saw the thumbnail picture. What prompted me to make this is a viewer recently commented on one of my collards videos that she must be from around where I'm from. She mentioned the county and sure enough she is and she says she loves lacy cornbread and I thought oh my goodness I do too. I've got to do a video on that because it is so good. There are so many ways to make cornbread. Um, I mean you can bake it, you can fry it. This is one of the many ways of frying it but in this case um, this is a particularly crispy kind of cornbread. I'm not going to be measuring things out precisely I'm going to use measuring cup because I want to sort of gauge how much I'm using of different things, but I've always just eyeballed it. I've always just done this because I know what goes in it. I know how it's supposed to look and how it's supposed to taste. So stick with me and we'll get right to it. Okay, so I have some regular white cornmeal. This is not self-rising. This is just plain cornmeal. You don't want self-rising. And I, there's not a whole lot in the bag. I'm just going to use this measuring cup just to sort of figure out how much is in here so you'll get an idea. Okay, that's a cup. And there's a little bit more. Probably, probably not quite half a cup more. We'll just say a cup and a half. Okay. And then I've got some water that I'm going to be adding to it. But first, I need to add some salt. So because this doesn't have any salt, this is not self-rising. Self-rising cornmeal already has salt in it, sort of like self-rising flour. But this doesn't. So I'm going to be adding half a teaspoon of salt. Now, depending on how much you're going to be using, you're going to use less, you can use more, you can just taste it. I use a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon right then, and so I've just started with the half teaspoon, and I think that's probably going to be just fine. So now that I've mixed the salt in, I'm just going to start adding water. So first I'm going to go ahead and measure out a cup of water just so we can kind of gauge. Okay, so we remember we have about a, cu about a cup and a half of cornmeal. I've added about a cup of water. I've never like measured this before. So this is actually interesting to me to see how much it gets of whatever it's going to get. Now one thing about cornmeal is it will really, really soak up water. So if you let it sit for any amount of time, it'll just swell up and it'll thicken. So even though it might seem runny at first, it'll quickly absorb all the water and you'll have to add more. What we want is we want a consistency that's going to be like pancake batter. That's the best way I know to describe it. Um, a lot of times I might start out with it one way and then decide I want it a little bit thinner based on how the, um, the cornmeal mixture is in the pan once I add it to the oil. So I'm actually going to see you can see how this is kind of thick we don't want it like that that's too thick you can make fried cornbread with it like this and it's great it's very tasty but it's going to be a, a more bready like a more doughy kind of cornmeal it's not going to be crispy lacy cornbread is characterized by being really crispy so now i'm just going to add some more water put about a, i'm going to put about a half a cup in this measuring cup and we'll see how far this goes so this if i do end up adding all this water this will be about one to one as far as cornmeal to water. Okay, it looks like it still needs some more. And it's it's typically the case with me that once I do start making it, I will add more water just because it might they, they might come out a little too thick. You'll see what I mean when I get into it. So it definitely definitely is going to need more water, I think. I'm going to try this and see if the oil's hot enough. Yep, the oil's definitely hot enough, so we're just checking that out. And while this um, little little piece of cornmeal um, mixture is frying, that cornmeal in the bowl keeps absorbing that water. So... I'm going to get a plate and get some paper towels on it because once I do start actually frying up this cornmeal mixture, it's going to cook really fast. Now I'm, you know, this is kind of thick, but I want to show you how it does. So I'm going to do a few like this just so you can see, and then you'll be able to compare the difference. And then you can decide what you like better. Um, but ultimately I'm going to be wanting to show you the lacy cornbread. This is just like fried cornbread. So it's 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 a little it's just a little bit thicker and what makes it lacy is the little holes that'll start forming in it now this will get some little holes in it 
but not as many because again it's kind of thick when I add more water to it the the batter is going to be it's going to spread faster and it's going to start cooking faster and little little holes are just going to start coming through it so I'm going to speed this part up and then get to where I'm adding more water so you can see how that's going to be and I'm but I'm in the meantime I'm just going to keep cooking this regardless you're going to let them cook until until they're golden brown and I don't know if you can see that but see how that was kind of soft and pliable it's not done until it's until it's firm and 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 stiff and that's regardless of whether you make it thicker or whether you make it really thin like lacy cornbread so I'm adding more water now and I'm going to end up adding more water I just know that I am but I'm, I'm just showing you what happens as you add more water to this but let me speed this up a little bit All right, I don't know if you can tell, but I did add a little bit of water while it was cooking. So I'm, the batter's a little bit runnier now. And so now I'm just gonna use this measuring cup to kind of pour it in and just make these little discs. So they're gonna start frying really quickly and those little holes are gonna start forming around the edges a lot quicker. It's, it's like pancakes, it's like anything like this. The first ones you make never come out the best, but this one is, is much better. And those little edges curling up like that is beautiful, it's perfect. It's getting all those little holes in it and you'll see it even more as I turn this over. Okay, I'm just gonna keep this sped up as I make more of these. And these are thinner, I had added water. You saw me, I just snapped one of those in two. When you do, they're crispy around the edges. Those little holes, everywhere there's one of those holes is where oil has bubbled up through. So it's made the whole thing really crispy. And it's so good. And if I had left the volume on, you would have heard me chomping on these. And like, they, they're, they're crunchy. You can, you can hear the edges. In the middle, if it's a little bit thick, it's going to be not quite as crunchy right in the middle. But that's okay, because it's those edges that's the best part. It's just so good. This is really good cornbread to make if you're going to have some fried seafood or um, if you're gonna have it with just some collards or fried chicken or anything. This is just good for, with so many different things. But again, this is just one of many different ways of making cornbread. And I'm going to be making more cornbread videos because I've made several biscuit videos. But for cornbread, there's, there's a different kind of cornbread for all kinds of occasions, and they, they can be just so versatile, and you can use them in so many different ways. But this is the simplest. You don't really have to worry about exact measurements. As long as you know what the consistency is supposed to look like, as long as you like the taste of the batter, and as long as you understand the principles when you fry this, that it, the thinner the batter is, the crispier it's going to be. You got it. That's just all there is to it. So... Here we go, a delicious plate of crispy lacy cornbread. And I'm gonna be serving this up, so I'm not gonna be eating any more of these or breaking into any more of these, but this is so good. I hope you'll make this. I hope you'll try it and let me know what you think. Well, if you like cornbread, if you don't, obviously don't make it. But let me know what you think in the comments below if you make this, I'd be curious what you think. Um, you can, if, if you like a sweet cornbread, you can add some sugar to it. Get the batter to taste the way you like it. 
The whole concept is learning the principles of it, which is if the batter is thin, it's going to be crispier. If it's thicker, it's going to make a, a thicker cornbread. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.